WebOS is really what it is, is that we built this from ground up, and WebOS allows you to really see everything you're doing. So all of these are all these cards are open applications. You've got Kindle, you've got the web browser, we have our photo app. And really the goal of WebOS is allow you to really manage your device, manage your, your application, to manage the information you have on the device, sort of akin to how you would have paper on a table. So I can actually tap on things and move them around. So I can actually have a different order. If I want to go through and stack something with the like, like areas, I can stack them with um, files. So sort of if I'm organizing bills, organizing um, mail, on the table, I can organize anything I want on here, sort of like applications, like information on it. So if I want to have, say, launch another web browser, instead of it'll bring another card, I can go through and just type it on the keyboard, bring up the different websites. The web browser is both um, Flash and HTML5. It's a WebKit browser that we've actually done hardware acceleration, so it's leveraging the 8055 chipset in here. So it's a dual core 1.2 gigahertz um, chipset from Qualcomm. And as you go through, and Berlusconi's back in the news today, um, as you're going through on here, again, you, you can go through, you can sort the different information. So again, tap if I want to have a card in different places here. When I'm in the browser itself, I can just pitch to zoom. I can also tap to go to the, to the different areas on it. Um, and some of the interesting things of what we brought to WebOS, um, we had some core capabilities that we wanted to bring and really stretch out or, or really stretch our feet on or on the touchpad. The first one is something called stack notifications. What that is, is as notifications come in, whether it's from my email, whether it's SMS, whether it's an, um, um, an IM chat coming through, we'll actually give you this drop down list and I can actually triage everything from the different applications and see all my email. In this case, I just have one from Google today, but it allows me to go through and I can dismiss it or I can actually act on that email and actually jump into the email application. But I don't need to lose or leave the browser in order to do that. Jumping over to the email app, oh, and, and just the other way you navigate. So again, these are all the live applications I have on the device. If I don't want anything on it, I just flip it off the screen. And that is how you dismiss an application. So in email, we really focused again, we have the larger screen size, so it's a it's a 9.7 inch display, it's 1020 by 768. We allow you to see, if you want the one view, I can see all the accounts I have on here. And we support up to 16 different accounts. So they can be any combination of Exchange, IMAP, POP. Um, a lot of things we're looking for, like small businesses, you can have your sales line, your customer support email account, and also your just informational exchange accounts. And respond to and manage all three exchange accounts, or all 16 exchange accounts on one, one single device. It's something that's even difficult to do on a PC today. Um, but we, we really wanted to make sure that you can do anything you want in your life or your work on this device. We also had set up, you can see any of the information that I'm going through or any of the, the emails, and you have a preview pane to see it. But as everybody's sort of different in how they use emails, you have little tabs. You can actually tap on the tab to jump all the way into the email. You can just minimize it so I see just the panes or I can see everything on here. We also made it very simple to go through and do multi-select. You just tap on the multi-select button and then I can select multiple, the multiple emails. I can file them in the folder or I can just delete them. So again, making it very simple to go through and manage information on this device. And I'll just make a new email on here. Go through on my. There we go. Let's respond to this guy. So as you're going through on here, you'll notice first I have a keyboard that came up. With well, the keyboard, there were two main things we really focused on. One of them, we didn't want you have to change context. Meaning we don't have to hit Alt Tab if I go between numbers or letters. So we made it a great keyboard. So if I'm going through and saying, um, let's have lunch at five. You just type it. All the numbers work. All the letters work. We do have an alternate if you want to, if you and basically optimize this for spreadsheets. So you have calculations on here, also numbers, or you have emoticons if you want to add them in. Um, as we're going through on here as well, we have different people of different hand sizes. So I have it in large mode right now. You can have it in extra small. As you're going through on this, you can change the orientation. You can have this both in um, landscape or in portrait. And you can move around depending on what you have on the screen at any given time. Let's go back to the card view. Some of the other, some of the other things we've gone through on here, um, we've worked on something and really we had a concept called synergy. Actually, I didn't bring my cal calendar up. What synergy is is we allow, we've gone through and allow you. We work with calendar, contacts, email, um, really anything you have on the web, and we allow you to bring all the various data sources into one place. So in this case, I have my Exchange calendar, I have my Google calendars, I actually have multiple ones, and also Facebook. 
And we have them color coded in here so you can see all your calendars in a unified view. And I tend to, I personally use it, my, I have my wife's calendar, my kids' calendars on it, so I can see everything in one place. I can turn them off so they say gray in the background and just work on, and focus on my exchange calendar at work, or I can see everything on it. And really giving you a, a great flexibility with it and even something that's hard to do on a desktop today. Content-wise, we also have, we've actually worked with Amazon, so we have a whole Kindle app. It's hooked into your standard Kindle account, so you can read a book on a Kindle player, you can bookmark it, you can come to this device, pick up in the same exact place, really allowing you to have your digital life move across all the devices you own. And with Synergy, and actually really with the display we have, we focused on really photos and videos as a key thing of sharing devices and looking at content on this device. So you can see I've got all the devices, basically I've got all the photos that can be on my device. I also have Facebook photos on here. With Facebook, as I'm going through it, I actually can go through, I can scroll different photos on here. If I want to go through and make a comment, we have Facebook integrated directly into it. I don't have to go to another application. I just go through, click here, write a comment on what I want to do, or go back, back to the photos. And with HP, we wanted this to fit into the entire ecosystem of HP. So I've had full access to all of the network printers we shipped in the last five years. So there's tens of millions of them. All you have to do is go through, add the printer into it, it'll search it off the network, um, or we'll actually print directly over to the ePrint printers here. Um, great thing to actually have full access, very easy to print content off here, whether it's email, a Word document, or a photo. How close is the OS to the one shipping on the phone that's coming so out this next? Is, so it's WebOS. It's the same operating system. So if a developer builds an application on a, on a pre or a, for, a, for a smartphone, they can bring that over onto the touchpad. I mean, the goal of this is we've actually, we're bringing the WebOS across the ecosystem at HP. So from smartphones to tablets to printers to um, working WebOS onto a, onto a PC, all of that is how we want to be able to manage your data or have you manage your data through the different variety of um, components you have or devices. Uh, when did you two arrive in the UK? Um, we are not announcing um, regions or um, pricing on it right now, but we are going to ship it this summer. And it'll be coming first in a Wi-Fi version, and then we'll have a 3G and 4G version following. That'll be later on in the year or following yes. the next? later on this year. Okay, thank you.